Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Thursday, March 12th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 12th of March, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate with you at that time. Whenever this reading um, well, excuse me, whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, yeah? So um, I don't have any announcements. I hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, and it's almost the weekend. Woo! <laughs> okay, well, with that said, why don't we just get started here? Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, March 12th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So let's get started here. I've been sitting here wondering, or throughout my morning, you know, as I've been going through my process here, I've been wondering what deck to work with or to start with. And I keep hearing the Ask Angels. So that's what we started with yesterday. Or I'm sorry, the Angel Answers. So that's what we started with yesterday. It's what I'm being guided to today. So let's give it another go yeah see what comes out so again just like yesterday if you have a question on your mind that you would like some answers to go ahead and get that you know go ahead and ask or hold that intention to receive some sort of guidance for this question um and if not then you can't think of anything like often I can't really think of anything so I just allow the message to come through as it's going to come through and we'll see what we got yeah one last shuffle all right so let's see what we've got for our day here Thursday March 12th for the collective there's something better improving health okay get a bit more here Ooh. all right wait let's take three more please three more please angels spirit three more in the near future okay two more please yes oh look we've got yes again okay yes came out yesterday <laughs> okay and one more please spirit Angels, one more. Uh oh. Interesting. That's very interesting. We just got yes, but then we have a year from now and a resounding no. Wow. That's a lot. Overall energy is compromise. Compromise. Okay. I can already tell this is going to be a little bit of a challenging reading for me as a reader because we have a yes and then and then a resounding no. <laughs> okay. So what I'm already hearing is there are two different questions or potentially two different scenarios that we're talking about here. And yet somehow this feels like even though there could be, you could be caught between, you could be caught between two people, like as in two relationships, you could be um, um, in between relationships, you could be in between jobs, you could be in between phases in, your, in life. That's kind of what this feels like, okay? Um, and this no actually feels, this resounding no 
actually feels like the situation that you're removing yourself from or you're releasing yourself from, which is, in direct, uh, which is directly connected to compromise here, okay? This does feel like you could be um, leaving uh, a past connection behind, all right? And the compromise here is kind of the angels or the universe saying, look, you two or, yeah, we'll say it this way. You two were once led or, or uh, meant to be together or there was some sort of energy be between the two of you that created some sort of potential for you two to either be in a relationship or to work together or um, have a partnership of some kind, whether this is business or romantic, five, five, five on the counter, it doesn't matter. Um, take it as it resonates for you. Um, and yet, I'm hearing that there were a little bit of discrepancies. Something didn't go quite as planned. Someone made a different decision. Someone chose to take a different course of action, act in a different way, something like that. And thus, the universe is coming through to facilitate the free will of the individuals involved. And thus, you have no in the sense that, no, this is not going to work for the two of you, okay? Because... <laughs> Yes, because you're both going in different directions, and yet there's compromise here, okay? And this is not compromise where, like, you're settling for something. No, the universe is not allowing you or is not forcing you to settle for anything. The universe is giving you exactly what you wanted, okay? Now, for some of you in which, uh, yeah, so you're, and, and you're being asked to trust, Okay, because for some of you, yes, this, especially if we're talking about a relationship here, um, especially if we're talking about a relationship, no, you may not be getting the person that you want or the person that you desire or the person that you thought you was going to be, but you are getting what you are asking for, what you're waiting for, what you're working towards. Okay. Now, in terms, it's interesting because I'm, I'm starting at the bottom here. <laughs> And then we're going up to the top, but um, it says no. Um, you're ready. You're ready to release this. You're ready to let this go. Okay. A year from now, there will be a peaceful resolution. And I guess what this is kind of saying is, think of, like like look forward a year. Yes, <laughs> yes. Look forward. Like think about it. Like a year from this moment, when you look back on things, you'll understand. You'll have a better understanding of why something is happening the way that it is or the way that it has okay so you're asked i'm yeah i'm going to continue going from the bottom to the top because now you're being asked to wait because in the near future you are going to be getting a yes you're going to be getting what it is that you want what it is that you've asked for, what it is that you've been working towards okay there is in fact something better for you here and I really kind of feel like you're able to understand or perceive, either perceive that there is something better or understand the fact that there is something better for you here because of your improving health. Improving health is speaking to, yes, it could mean your physical health, but also this really just means your, uh, or this also means, not really just, but also means your your mental and emotional help. You're, <laughs> you're able to see clearly. I can, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. That kind of energy, right? Where there was all kinds of illusion in front of you. You couldn't necessarily see clearly. You didn't quite understand what was going on or you didn't quite know what it is that you really truly wanted now with this improving health energy here you're yes i love that this card is out here because as i continue going through the message the angels keep bringing my attention to this card confirming that i'm, I'm channeling the message right but um now that you are out of this confusion, now that you have this clear thinking, or now that you have a better, stronger, greater idea of what it is that you truly want, now you can see that, oh wow, there is something better, which is allowing you to be ready to move towards that or maybe to let go of something, okay? Okay. So let's get into a little bit of the tarot here. And I want to talk about this no energy first, okay? 
I mean, this is a resounding no. This is like an absolutely, absolutely not. Like hard no, like hard body. Eh, eh. Nope, not going to work. Absolutely not. But I really do feel like this no is here, not because the angels are saying it or the universe is saying it, but because you're saying it. You're aware that, oh, no, this is a big old no. And look, the Four of Cups is at the bottom of the deck right now. I'm going to keep shuffling and all that, but maybe this was a missed opportunity at, in some way that actually turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Maybe whatever it is that you've, you're going through here, whatever this is for you here, um, was meant to teach you, was, was kind of, I mean, it didn't have to turn out to be a missed opportunity. And quite frankly, um, and quite frankly, especially with a year from now and peaceful resolution, I feel like there is an energy of potential of something being rekindled in the future, okay? Um, uh, but there was a choice to be made and whether you wanna see it as an unfortunate event or not, Ultimately, it is part of the path, it's part of the journey, or as you can say, it's part of the learning process, right? Um, and ultimately, it's getting you where you want to go. It's putting you in a position to get what you want ultimately anyway. So I guess I wouldn't even really look at it as a failure. I mean, I guess you could technically look at it as a missed opportunity, but it's a missed opportunity that's only going to lead you to a better expression of what it is you want to begin with anyway. And I think you understand that. All right, one last shuffle, and then we're going to talk about this no. And I, I guess I specifically want to get to the bottom of why it's such a no, okay? And I, I'm almost kind of seeing the devil. I am. I'm kind of seeing the devil right now, but we'll see what card comes out. What is this no? The, oh, my God. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Overall energy is the six, 12, 12, is the six of pentacles, all right? So there was a lack of reciprocity here, a lack of give and take, a lack of balance in this situation. You guys, you guys, look, the devil. <laughs> but the devil, yes, the devil has fallen out. And then justice came out here too. And justice kind of fell out, fell out on your ready, all right? So you have the devil, justice, the tower, the high priestess, the world with the knight of pentacles in reverse, two of cups and the king of pentacles. So with this knight of pentacles in reverse here, this is an energy of stuck and stagnancy. Stagnancy. This is someone or something that just refused to move forward. King of pentacles, two of cups. So yeah, we're most likely talking about a romantic relationship, but... Keep in mind, it doesn't absolutely have to be because the Two of Cups can represent um, uh, a partnership, whether that be creative in nature or maybe business. I feel like it, well, no, this is a general reading, Eric. Take it as, to, so list all things. So take it as it resonates for you. Maybe this is a business partnership. Maybe this is a friendship. Maybe these are family members. Maybe this is a romantic relationship. Um, maybe this is a creative partnership. Whatever it is for you, okay? But someone was stuck and stagnant and just did not want to budge. I just heard over emotional. Maybe this individual as represented by the king of pentacles, most likely a masculine energy. Well, it is masculine energy, but um, it, it, could, it could be a masculine energy, whether it's a man, a physical man, or a woman embodying masculine energy, uh, or acting from a strong sense of their own masculine energy, or it could just represent someone that's just very fixed and stubborn, whether masculine or feminine. But I get the feeling that someone was just very much not willing to budge, not willing to move 1414, not willing to change a thing. And thus the situation went stagnant, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? But then ultimately, justice was brought into this situation, okay? This was, this could have been a toxic, and this could have been a toxic tie, all right? Um, whether it, it could have been, maybe this was a soul bond, a soul contract of some sort, maybe a twin flame energy with this devil energy here. It, for some of you, this feels like it's someone that you know you really felt like you were extremely bond to, bound to, extremely tied to, just could not escape the connection, could not escape the energy. 
uh, something like that. Or it was just a really toxic situation, maybe a toxic marriage, a toxic relationship, a toxic um, a family situation, a toxic creative partnership, business situation, business, something. And yet with the, with the devil here, I'm kind of, because the devil is like the, the polar opposite of the lovers. And I still see, and, and with the lovers, you know, the lovers is a choice. I see the devil as kind of being a choice too. Sometimes it's not as easy to make this choice because of all the lower vibrational binding um, and grounding energy that comes with the devil here. But ultimately, the devil cannot have power over you unless you choose to continue handing it over. Now, we'll say in terms of like a twin flame situation or a, a really toxic or strong soulmate bond, karmic bond or something like that, there are some elements to the situation that you're going to have to go through and learn from first before you are ready to make this decision to let this go. Okay, and that's what we have here. Between the high priestess, the tower, justice, and the world, the high priestess is representing higher wisdom, higher understanding. Um, oh, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Higher wisdom, higher understanding, connecting to your higher self, divine intervention, it could even kind of be. Um, seeing past the veil, seeing through the illusion, uh, which then brought, brought on a tower moment. The tower moment being letting this go completely, bringing justice into your life, and thus ending the cycle. Okay. Wow, that is awesome. And with the Six of Pentacles being at the bottom of the deck in, in terms of this situation, the root cause of the energies of, this situ of, of why this didn't work out, why this was, why someone put the kibosh on this, whatnot, whatever, is because of a lack of reciprocity, a lack of balance, a lack of give and take. It was a one-sided situation. Okay. Okay, so now I want to look at there's something better. So why is there something better here? What is this something better that could be coming forward for us, please, Spirit? Why is there something better here? <coughs> Excuse me. Five of Cups. Okay. Why else? What? Ten of Wands. Yeah. A little bit more. I mean, this is okay. This makes sense. I mean, the five of, with the five of cups and the ten of wands, oof, and the seven of swords at the bottom of the deck so far. All right. Well, sure. This is pretty obvious. Hold on. No, it's just the ten of wands. Okay. So this is pretty obvious with the five of cups and the ten of wands. The situation was extremely burdensome, and I guess you 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 started to, you realized that at this point. Um, Either you were, this has disappointed you for the first time, and in that first time, you understood how burdensome the situation is. Lucky you. <laughs> okay, but for others of you, this disappointed you for the last time, or there was some sort of, there was some sort of breaking point where you really started to realize how overly toxic this situation was, is what I'm hearing for some of you, but just how burdensome this, this was. How deceitful the situation is okay let's get a little bit more here spirit so what exactly so what is this something better what can you tell us about what better there is coming okay okay Ooh, overall energy is the Six of Swords, and underneath the Six of Swords is the King of Cups. All right, so there's something better. You're moving away, whether that be physically, emotionally, energetically. You're moving from rough waters to calmer waters. You're moving from turmoil, stress, um, doubt, drama, from conformity, uh, rigidness, being stuck, someone that is stuck and stagnant and not willing to budge and not willing to move towards someone that is 
the king of cups emotionally available emotionally ready it could be you more it could be it could very well be that you're moving from an earth sign to a water sign that's entirely possible um but this is someone that's emotionally available someone that's emotionally ready someone that's ready to give of themselves be in a balanced union and partnership someone that is Ah, I just heard worth waiting for. You have the emperor underneath that, all right? So this also could be someone that's really way more mature. Masculine energy, of course, um, but the master of their own domain. It's entirely possible. Now, what else do we have here? We have the Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, okay? The Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, but then also the Four of Swords. Um, rest, rejuvenation, contemplation, retreat. The four of swords, okay, the four of swords is definitely speaking of a retreat here. Because with the, de with the deception of this situation, whatever it is you're moving away from, there is something better because you're starting to recognize, you're starting to retreat from the deception of the situation. You're starting to retreat from the conformity, the lies, the backstabbing, the cheating, feeling, pr feeling chained, feeling imprisoned. In some cases, this was a situation in which you really couldn't truly express yourself. But because of this retreat energy here, because of the boundaries that you're putting into place, and you're saying, you know what, no more of this. I've learned my lesson here. This has taught me a lot. I'm, I'm grateful for it. And for, for a lot of you, you're, still, you're in that energy of, yeah, thank you so much for helping me wake up to this, but I'm done. Uh, I, re I surrender, I retreat, I'm not, I'm not doing this any longer. Four of swords, seven of wands, and thus that's creating a change in karma, a change in destiny that's allowing you to bring in this new ace of wands, page of pentacles. And this page of pentacles, as if, if you've been following me for some time, you know that, um, you know that I see the page of pentacles mostly as a level up card, as that, that fresh new start, as reaching that new level and trying to find your footing. But here, this has a very strong connotation of having really learned a lot. Like you're not starting, sure, you're starting on a new level. You're, you, you might be, I guess you could consider or say you're starting over to a certain extent, but, but okay, so you're starting over, but you have so much wisdom and power and inspiration behind you on this. And I just heard there is absolutely no going back whatsoever. And that's a beautiful thing. You should be very proud of yourself for that. Now, the last thing I want to look at here with the tarot before we go in a little bit deeper with some oracle is weight. I just want to look at weight for a little bit. What, what do you guys want to tell us about this weight energy? Please, spirit and angels. Okay, we have the hanged man here. It has come out sideways with the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but there's more. Why is the hanged man here sideways, please? I just feel like you're still kind of, ooh, I'm getting a download with that one. I feel like there is something that is not quite, yes, that's not quite finished balancing out yet two of pentacles okay get a little bit more why do we have this uh hanged man energy yep two of wands and the emperor wow okay one more shuffle please um uh, and the wow the four of wands whoa overall energy is the king of wands now okay um i am picking up, i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm picking up on energies of a of another person um, maybe this could be the new person that you're, that you're moving towards, that you're gravitating towards, that you're attracting into your life. There is a lot of masculine energy here. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. Well, we had the King of Cups. He was at the bottom of the deck before. Now we have the King of Wands and we have the Emperor. That Emperor energy has come back out. I feel like that we're talking about the other person. Um, I mean, you could very well be in the middle of this transition for sure. 
all right? And with the hanged man coming out sideways, it's like, okay, I know I need to make a decision or I need to make a move, change my environment, change my settings. I know I need to make this move, but it's like you're not quite ready yet. With the two of pentacles and the two of wands, I feel like there are still some logistics that are still needing to be worked out here. And it could very well be that it's the other person that is going, whomever you could be aligning to next that is going to come in in the near future. Okay? They are still in, a, in, in transition as well. There are union energies here. Ooh, chow. Look at this. You, I was looking underneath the King of Wands, and now you have the Empress. Ah. Queen of Swords, Chariot. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I'm getting this little subtle energy with the King of Wands that this is the other person here. Maybe the, the, the new masculine counterpart to align with you if you're more of the feminine. Um, but this, this person has got their eye on you. Or someone's got their eye on somebody here. And there could be a change of home environment with this four of wands and the two of wands. Especially with the six of swords that came into play. But this, is a very, this could be a very strong match. Very strong match. Almost maybe even the alignment that you've been waiting for is kind of the energy. There's there's a lot of, there's, there's I'm going to be honest with you guys, there is some strong sexual attraction here because I feel it. Someone is very masculine, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to tell you what I'm hearing. Someone is very masculinely oriented but is attracted to a very femininely oriented individual and it is a, and it is a match. <laughs> All right, well that's cool. Now, with this Queen of Swords and the Chariot that's also here, and even the Eight of Wands, yes, we could be talking about travel, all right? But also, the Queen of Swords, there are still some things that need to be cut out. There are still some things that need to be handled first before, before things can really pop off, before you can really start this new cycle with the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? But you're definitely moving on. Absolutely, definitely moving on. And this is a very good thing. This is a very positive change, a very beneficial change. And I don't want, I don't want anyone to start really slipping into any of the energies of animosity, resentment, or anything like that. Because whatever it is that you are leaving behind, understand that this is a compromise for the two of you. So you can get what you want, and that other person can work on getting what they want. Period. No if, ands, or buts about it. The universe is not in the business of telling any one of us no. It's just they're going to align us with the best fit for what it is we're looking for in life. Okie dokie. So I want to move to the oracle section. I want to start closing this out. I do want to start, I want to talk about improving health here. And for that, I'm going to go to the sacred destiny oracle and just get some keywords as to... Uh, pertaining to this improving health. Okay, so what, what is the nature of this improving health here for us, please, Spirit? And then I'm going to get your closing oracle guidance. One last shuffle. All right. Improving health. What is this improving health, please, angels? What do you want to tell us about this improving health energy? Why is improving health here? health. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. At the bottom of the deck, you have power. I mean, a, a ton of cards have come out here, but the overall energy, 29, 29, 11, 11, the, the overall energy for this improving health is stepping into your power being who it is you truly are, taking your power back and allowing yourself to do the things that are right for you, regardless of the situation, regardless of who you might be leaving behind. This improving health, 
the biggest thing about this improving health is you standing fully in your power and knowing what is right for you or at least having a better idea of what is right for you and taking the bull by the reins, taking the wheel and saying, I'm going to move in that direction. That is you standing in your power, which also you have, for, with that you have forgiveness. Forgiveness of yourself, forgiveness of others. That is a very powerful place to be in. You have delight, moving towards your own delight. Illumination, you see, knowing exactly what it is that you want and moving towards it, using your power to move towards it. Patience with stand still. You're able to be more patient. You're able to stand still and allow things to happen, allow things to unfold as they're truly meant to or as it's desired to. And you have security and simplicity. So instead of going for something that's the most challenging, something that's the most exciting, something that's the most invigorating, something that's the most exhilarating, improving health is speaking to the fact that you're actually going towards something that gives you security and is simple in nature. And that's a very, very powerful place for you to be in. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna close the reading. Let's get your Oracle guidance here. We're gonna get it from the Crystal Mandala deck today. Oops. So let's get, woo. All right, we're good. No, I'm not feeling that one. Okay, let's get your closing oracle guidance here for today. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, we have a few cards, Crossroad of Destiny, Tiger Spirit Rises, and then at the bottom of the deck is Integrity. So yeah, I mean, yeah, sorry, I'm making fun of myself. <laughs> um, wow, this is really interesting. So you really are at a crossroads here. And... This crossroad is definitely a place of power, especially with Tiger Spirit Rises. But the name of the game is 100% integrity. And that, goes, that falls right in line with this compromise energy, or at least you knowing what it is that you want, need, deserve, having a better idea of that, and letting yourself follow through with that instead of staying committed to something that is no longer working for you. This is allowing your power to rise. This is allowing your spirit to, to rise, your power to improve. This is you expressing your own power. I really, I really wanna read Tiger Spirit Rises here. So that's what we're gonna read. Card number 13, which is a number of change. It is the death card in the major arcana of the tarot. Okay, well, here we go. Tiger Spirit Rises. We bring you the gift of Tiger Spirit Rising. You are being empowered with a truth more potent than fear. Your spirit is rapidly expanding beyond what opinion and logic can contain. It needs to be set free to run wild with divine grace in the world. Your life, your destiny, your divine fulfillment requires that you have the courage to roar for love, to refuse to be put down, to respect yourself, and to let your untamed loving heart be free. Your spirit creates a field of divine electricity through your body and mind that can liberate others from conformity and social conditioning, allowing them to break away from systems based in control and fear. As your tiger spirit rises, you excite and empower the tiger spirit in others to rise above conditioning as they discover the wild divine spirit being they are in truth. Beautiful. Um, so now I also kind of want to read the second one too which is card number 42, Crossroads of Destiny. Um, but hold on a second. Okay. Um, all right, so card number 42. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Here we go. Crossroad of Destiny. <laughs> I laughed because just as I looked at the counter, it was at three, four, five, six. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, Crossroad of Destiny. We bring you the empowerment of the Crossroad of Destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you, or you may not realize the impact that an, app, that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. Beautiful. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this has helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day, 555 on the counter. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.